In the recent update, there was an interesting change. Fix a server crash caused by Sniper trying to eat his gun. Um, what? As it turns out, in an older version of TF2, if you were heavy with the Fist of Steel and ate the steak, then switched the Sniper after the buff was applied, the server would crash. The strangest part is that if you switch to any other class, the server wouldn't crash. If you equip any other heavy melee, it also wouldn't crash. What's going on? The stake grants you a period of mini crits, with the stipulation that you can only use your melee weapon. But the game doesn't force you onto melee as soon as you eat the stake, since that would look weird. So instead, we wait for the heavy to finish eating before forcing melee only. So the stake doesn't magically disappear and the heavy is left eating air. But this introduces another problem. What happens if the taunt gets interrupted? Like when you stand on someone or get air blasted. If the game forces melee only using a timer based on how long the eating animation takes, then there's a window to exploit taunt interruptions to pull out the minigun and destroy people. So, to handle this, TF2 has an observer watching the heavy for the moment he exits third person. As soon as the heavy stops eating for any reason, TF2 immediately forces melee only and pulls out his fists. This solution competently handles all the random cases that might turn up, such as being pushed off a platform or knocked by explosives. But it ends up being awkward on class changes. Since changing class does technically stop the heavy's taunt, if you switch classes before the heavy finishes eating, the game will follow through and trigger melee only, which then brings up the heavy's fists, which then trigger the heavy's first person melee draw animations, while the game is changing your class. This is a problem because TF2 plays animations using a generic ID system. When the game calls on the animation system to play the heavy shotgun draw animation, for example, all that is said is to play animation number 5. When you switch class after eating the steak, TF2 detects that the taunt has been interrupted, so it forces the heavy's fist to come out, fuzz asking for animation 10. But because you're also in the middle of switching class, the animation 10 request ends up being carried out on the new class you're switching to. So if you pick Scout, TF2's intent to play the heavy's animation 10 will end up having the scout's animation 10 being played. This really doesn't matter because the animation will only play for 1 or 2 frames before the game overwrites all of that when it runs through initial class spawn procedures, like pulling out your primary weapon and resetting everything. But there is one unlucky case where this does end up mattering. The sniper had a scrapped revolver weapon, which was far along enough in development for Valve to create first-person animations for them. This was leaked in past TF2 updates, but it has since been removed. Only partly. The sniper animation files still have entries registered for the revolver, telling TF2 that these animations exist. Except they don't. The animations are simply not there, but the file that keeps track of what animations exist claims they do exist. So when you switch to Sniper after eating a steak, the game makes a request for the heavy Fist of Steel draw animation, which is ID42. This request ends up being fulfilled on the Sniper. Sniper's animation 42 is the revolver idle animation, which the game thinks exists but really doesn't exist. The game then tries to access this animation, finds nothing, and explodes, crashing the server. This is why this doesn't happen on any other class. They don't have a ghost animation on ID42. They probably don't have ghost animations at all. Because there is actually a few more ghost revolver animations on ID40, 41, and 43, this bug also applies to their bread reskin. They use a unique set of draw animations on ID 40 and 41, which runs into the sniper's ghost animations and crashes the server too. The server crashes on animations related to first person because they also have to keep track of it. When you spectate someone, the information about their view models is sent to you by the server, not the player you're spectating. 
So on July 29th, they stopped ghost animations from crashing servers. Um, this isn't working. <laughs>